Hello, this is Dr. Kumar from India. Greets in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today I would like to increase you with the word of God that what the Lord has laid on my heart to share with you for your increasement. In Mark, nine, Mark 5.36, Jesus told to a man that do not be afraid, only keep on believing in me and in my power. We are called to believe in his name and in his power. That is um, uh, what the Amplified Bible says. Today, many things are taking place in our daily lives. Something, and sometimes we go through victories, happiness, defeats, and in dangers in all the four seasons of the year. It does not matter whether we are rich or poor in this world, even though we are all human beings. And here is an interesting real life story out of the pages of history which uh, happened in a rich man's family. He was an official of synagogue and had only one daughter. He has a reputation, a beautiful wife, and a big family. But his only one daughter was dying. He could have taken her to any hospital or call any doctor to come and try and heal her. But he knew that no doctor could help her at that moment. And he became very much troubled with this situation in his house and began to worry a lot. Of course, everybody will worry a lot uh, with this kind of situations in any, any human's life across all of the world. But one day, he had some good news. And that good news was that Jesus was ministering and preaching while visiting his town. This man immediately began to run to Jesus and bowed down before him in a polite and humble manner. He then asked him to come, Jesus to come to his house and lay off his hands on his daughter so that she could be healed and live. Amen. Hallelujah. This man's name was Jairus. And he knew that Jesus had the power to give life to anyone. Jairus' family was not following Jesus. But he had faith and came to Jesus. While he was in uh, believing that Jesus would come, some people came from his home house and uh, said his daughter was dead. The real meaning is that this was uh, an attempt to Jairus from having faith in Jesus. But Jesus said to Jairus, do not be afraid, only believe. In other words, keep on believing in me and my power. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Eventually, Jesus went to Jairus' house and he raised his daughter from the dead. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jairus did not lose his faith in Jesus. Mm, amen. Praise the Lord. And he obeyed and listened to the words of Jesus. People speak different things in this world. <laughs> and they often do not support what we believe in faith. Jesus, they do not encourage us even. Sometimes people can cause us to worry and become a very heart heartened, heavy hearted. That is why we should not believe or listen to what other people say to us. 
because many do not practice a life of faith. One day a Canaanite woman came to Jesus, pleading with him for a great deliverance for her only daughter. She said, my daughter is severely demon-possessed. This is written in the book of Matthew 15, chapter 21 to 28 verses. Jesus did not say much right now, much right away, but she continuously trusted in Jesus and asked at least a single word for the deliverance of her daughter so that she would receive a great healing and a divine deliverance. He gave his word healing. He gave his uh, he, he, he gave his he, he gave his word and delivered her data. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus marveled and surprised at her faith in continuously trusting him. Even though he did not respond to her immediately, Jesus said to her, Woman. Great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as you are thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Trusting and believing Jesus is very important in our daily lives. Luke 8, 18, 35 to 43 says about a blind man who was named Bartimaeus. The more he was told to be quiet, the more he shouted with a loud voice, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? And Bhatma said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. He asked correctly what he needs. Many people did not understand this blind man's faith, but his faith in Jesus did not fail. Jesus said to a man in Mark 9.23, If you can believe, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Who believes? Jesus made everything possible to anyone and for anything all over this world if they will believe in him today i conclude this a beautiful teaching with a question that do you believe in jesus again i ask you do you believe in jesus and in his power we are called to believe not only in him or in his power, but we are called to believe in him personally, in his words, in his promises, in his covenant, in his prophecies, in his dreams and visions, and in his beautiful and excellent ministry for expanding the kingdom of God and advancing the kingdom of God on this earth. Believe in him and be blessed. My friends, this is an encouragement for you all. Today it's a question that where we are trusting, in whom we are believing in. Is our faith in Jesus? Jesus asked his disciples, Where is your faith, O oh, ye little faith of man? That means, where, where have you put your faith? You must believe in me. You must put your faith in me and in my power. In all the things what I have told, in his words, promises, dreams, divine visions, dreams, calling, prophecies, covenant. They are true and as in Bible. They are written. They are powerful. They are going to be happened in our lives. Hallelujah. Just believe. 
it doesn't matter what position you face in your daily lives. Jesus is always faithful to fulfill his promises. To bless you abundantly in all the situations that what you face. May God bless you. And uh, we would like to know about your prayer request so that we can agree and pray for you. Uh, in your faith, we can stand with you all for the manifestations in your lives. And we also personally would like to ask your prayers for advancing the kingdom of God in India. And we invite you to work with us if your vision helps for advancing the kingdom of God. It doesn't matter that vision is vision. It is not a matter of whether yours or mine. It helps for expanding the kingdom of God. We have a heart to reach the unreached in uh, uh, India, to reach uh, uh, with preaching the gospel, with the teaching in prophetic ways, and in healings and deliverances. The Lord is manifesting His power all the time when we minister in Jesus' name, and bringing healings and deliverances, blind seeing, deaf hearing, mute spoke, lame walking through, uh, through our ministry here, thank God for that. And we would like to take in all this kind of gospel of healing and deliverance of faith and fire across all over the towns and cities in India. We need your more prayers for this and we invite you uh, to join with us as a covenant partner. If you make a covenant, uh, to work with us, we, we, we are so happy to obey under the leading of the Holy Spirit and the knowledge of the Holy Spirit for advancing the kingdom of God in India. We love you and we invite you to work with us and to come into um, uh, uh, our ministry for, uh, uh, for the kingdom benefits in India. We love you so much. God bless you. This is Dr. Kumar and his teaching and preaching. Love you. Be blessed. Thank <laughs> you.